Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.2 using sound hacks. And this version does not require Cubic Ninja. Before we get started, check your 3DS firmware version and make sure that it's on firmware version 11.2. And remember the letter that's at the end of your firmware version too. We'll have to use that later in the tutorial. Now that you know you're on firmware version 11.2, let's get started. Turn your 3DS off, then find the SD card. This can be at the side of your 3DS if you're using the old 3DS or 2DS, but it'll be in the back if you have the new 3DS. After you find your SD card, put it into an adapter, then open it in your computer. Go to the Homebrew Launcher website, which is linked below. Download the Homebrew Starter Kit, then save it to your desktop. Scroll down and you should see these options. In the first drop down menu, select your 3DS model. You can check your 3DS model by looking at the back of your 3DS. Then select 11.2.0. Then select the numbers which are on your firmware version. Then select the letter that's at the end of your 3DS firmware version. Just in case you haven't noticed, the letter at the end of your 3DS firmware version just means the region that your 3DS is from. So E means Europe. U means US, J means Japan, and so on. Next, go to this website which is also linked below. On this page, download the file which has your 3DS's region on it. I'm from Europe, which is E, so I'm going to choose the file which has EUR in it. After you've figured out which one you have to download, click on it. Then on the following page, click the download button and save it to your desktop. You can close your internet browser now. These are all the files we need for this tutorial. Extract the folder named Starter to your desktop. After that, Rename the .bin file to Other App with no spaces and no capital letters. Now you can drag the contents of the unzipped starter folder to the root of your 3DS SD card. And finally, drag the other app.bin file to your SD card as well as the music file. Now you can eject the SD card from your computer and put it back into your 3DS. Make sure your 3DS is turned off when you're putting the SD card back in, unless you're using the 3DS file transfer software. Now on the 3DS, open the music app, then wait for the playlist to load. Navigate to this music file, then play it by pressing the A button. And that's it, you have now homebrewed your Nintendo 3DS 
on firmware version 11.2 without Cubic Ninja. To exit the Homebrew Launcher, press the Start button, then press the A button. Your 3DS will turn off, then turn back on again, and you should be at the Home menu. To open the Homebrew Launcher again, just open the Music app and select the same music file. If you want emulators for the Homebrew Launcher, unlimited play coins, or custom theme for the Home menu and more, click the links below. I've made tutorials on those already. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell, and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.